and going through the furnace of adversity. Going through the fires and the furnace of adversity. Shalom, Akims and Aquims. This is your Hebrew Israelite brother, Meshava, here in the city of Detroit. Uh, we'd like to give all praise and all honors to Yahweh by Shem Yahusha and by Shem Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. And a peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Okay, now we're making this video today um, on going through the furnace of adversities because, you know, I've been going through some things. Uh, last time I, I, I talked with y'all, you know, I've been going through some things. Let me show you. Uh, my house, my house, my home caught fire. Yep, caught fire. Sure did. And caught fire and it burned up. It didn't burn down, it burned up, right? And so, uh, and the thing of it is, it's like, I'm gonna show you these pictures. It's like, it's, it's the, let, let me lay it out. Yahweh, I placed everything in, into Yahweh's hands, okay? So that he could deal with the situation that it was beyond my control to deal with. You know, it had got beyond my control because I had been working on my home here. I bought it from the land bank in 2017, and I've been working on it for all this time up until just recently when uh, my home caught fire. Yeah, sure did. It caught fire. Look. See this? This the back part. See this? The whole roof is gone. You see that? The roof is gone. The whole roof is, in fact, gone. You see? Yeah, there's the back, there's the back bed, bedrooms. Look at that. Completely gone. All the old upstairs is, 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 is uninhabitable. You see? Look at that. See? All that burnt all up, and what it was, it was a lithium, an older model lithium battery that uh, that I accidentally overcharged, and it uh, the thing blew up. It blew up and it started spitting fires, sparking and spitting fire, and 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 catching everything around it on fire. And the whole thing went up. It went up so fast, I had to run out of the. Uh, the bedroom in less than 60 seconds, the, uh, uh, it became an inferno. It became a, an inferno, raging, raging. Uh, the fire was raging and roaring. You see, and uh, you see, and I, I placed the situation in Yahweh's hands because I've been working on my home for. Uh, uh, almost five years now, and uh, I'm a low vision blind retired carpenter of uh, of over forty years, and I've been working on my house all this time. The land bank they had just did a walkthrough inspection, and uh, I was waiting on them to send me my uh, my deed and give me my you know give me my approval, send me my deed. And two weeks went by, and they had not sent me my uh, my deed or anything. And I called one of the uh, the managers, uh, the land bank managers, and she told me that if they is you know, two weeks don't went by, and if they haven't given you your deed by now, then what that means is that they uh, holding on to it, and, and either they're going to try to reconvince the property back over to themselves, or or they or and they would try to get me to do a whole bunch of crazy other mess. That that would require that I would would have to get a a um, a licensed contractor, you know, and so you know just further trying to steal my home. Plus I had hater neighbors, you know. Remember I was telling you about the one that don't been on the side of my house shooting and all this and that. Well, my hater neighbors they wanted my house and I wouldn't sell, and they wanted me out and I wouldn't go, and so so either they were going to try to burn it down. Uh, you know, and, and then plus you had dumb fools that in the neighborhood that like to you know burn, you know old dudes' houses down. So you know, either way it go, even if your would have made them, 
uh, uh, go ahead and give me my uh, my deed and my, my approval and leave me alone. Still, it's, it's so many other different factors involved where individuals just simply were haters to me and didn't like me, you know. And so, uh, and so, so, and, and plus because of my own transgressions, we bear the indignation of the Lord because we sinned against him. I've sinned against the Lord. And so because of my own transgressions against the Lord, I have to bear the weight of, the, of, his, of his indignation. This is part of his judgment against me as well. You see, so by one broad stroke, he, uh, Yahweh, he eliminated every, every, he fixed everybody's little red wagon all the way around. All the way around. You see. You see. You see that? It's gone all burnt up. All burnt up. You see. Remember, and see, and in Second Esther chapter 16, I think it's somewhere down there, uh, 47, 48, verse 47, 48, with, with Yahweh. He talks about how he is, uh, it, it angers him the more we deck out our homes, deck out our persons, you know, deck ourselves out and everything. It angers him because uh, he, 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 he really has set for this uh, uh, white man's kingdom, kingdom now. He really has set for it its utter destruction. You know, and so, and so, yeah, yep, caught fire, yep, caught fire, see, burnt up pretty, pretty bad, it burnt up to the point where it was beyond my financial and physical abilities to, uh, to repair it, you know, and so, and so, it is what it is. And I have to accept it. You know, of course, you know, I was angry, mad. It, 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 it happened so simply. Yet still, it was done. It was done. Just like that, it was done. And so, and so you, you can see the whole house is, uh, you see, it's done. The whole roof and what parts of the roof that didn't uh, burn up partially burnt and then collapsed. You see? You see? Ain't, ain't no attic. Ain't no attic. No attic at all. Ain't no attic at all. You see? So, so yeah, it's going to take a lot of motivation and inspiration. And uh, that, that's where the scriptures come in. I want to show you all these pictures. You see, completely devastation, complete devastation. My home is burned up. You see. You see. You can stand on the inside, look outside. It's all messed up. So, but we we, we go through the, the, the Yahweh takes us through the fires of adversities. Because it is to make us stronger, it is because it's to make us better, and it's because it is to prune off of us. Remember, we are Yahweh's plant. All these things that He does to us prunes the uh, 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 the access of what's on us, all of us, through the fire of the purification. All that's burnt off of us is what we didn't need, really. Okay, is what we didn't need. And so it's burnt away out of our lives. It's pruned away out of our lives and all of us for the other things that Yahweh has planned for us and for our lives. You see? And so, so yeah. So did burnt my house up. I'm, I'm living down the street with a friend of mine now. You see? You see all that was? It was the roof and the attic and all that go. Ain't no attic. Let's see. Let's see. It's all to what? So let's put some uh, some scripture with this. Okay, let's go to who we want to uh, go with first. Let's go with um.
Psalm chapter 34. Now, see, look, now, now this doesn't want to work. Okay, let's go here. I need to start using my, my Blue Bible app more. Okay, we're going to start this off, uh, uh, Psalm chapter 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. Okay, even during these times like what I'm going through now. My whole my whole house burned up. Did I start cursing the Lord and all this and that? No, because I know that we're going to go through these different things. Let's hope for the next. Okay. His praises it shall continually be in my mouth. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Bashem, and Kabbadash. Oh, great one. My, verse 2, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Okay, because the Lord hears the humble. And so he likes a humble heart. Not a, not a defiant heart, but a humble heart. Not a mad, contrite heart, but a humble, a subtle heart. A caring, loving heart, peaceful heart. Verse 3. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Now, the only way you can exalt the Lord's name together, okay, is that we know the name the name of the Lord. So don't be listening to those camps out there, IUIC and, and uh, uh, Johannes Nim and H O one and 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 uh, G O C C and and all all those camps. I'm listening. I'm talking about you know uh, 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 that you know we don't know the name or they don't know what the name is. Or you can call him the Lord anything. No, you can't. You call him by his name, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Verse four. I sought the Lord and He heard me. Okay, He heard me. That's where we get our deliverance from. And delivered me from all my fears. Okay? I know that Yahweh is in control of all this. My Bible survived. My Bible survived the fire. My Bible survived plus my uh, quick claim deed. That was near the, uh, my Bible. That survived. With stuff that burned, uh, the, the ceiling all uh, completely burned uh, uh, away from over top of. Still, my Bible survived. Verse 5. Okay? Verse 5. Uh, verse five. In fact, hold on. Let's see something. Let's look at it right here. Let's just. What is that? I'm trying to see. Uh, yeah, this is it right here. In fact, I'm about to show y'all. Um. Yeah, here we go. There. Look at the Bible right there. Let me see. It survived. And it's the one that's got the, uh, <coughs> Shalom. <Shout out. coughs> it's the one that's got the, um, got the, uh, the apographer in the middle. You see, uh, uh Baruch. See, I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to order another one because it got really wet and it was two two percent of damage that was done just two percent on, on a couple of pages of the net. The Bible survived. Let me see. It survived. Let me see. It survived. It. So that's cool. Let me see. It, and a number of other uh, different King James Bibles that I had sitting up, you know, for uh, for my lesson teachings and stuff. So people will come over, uh, if they have a Bible, I can give them, give them one, and they can do their lesson, you know, we can go over lessons. And so, yeah, my Bible survived. Let's see. So, let's get back on the, uh, let's get back into this word. Oh, come on, come on. Now I want to act funny. Okay. Now, back into this word. Okay, verse 4. I sought the Lord, 
And he heard me. Okay, we read this. And he delivered me from all my fears. Okay, we read that. Okay, and let's see, verse five. They looked and they looked up unto him and were lightened and that means knowledge. They they gained the knowledge. Their faces were not ashamed. Why? Because they were filled with that knowledge. That that, that truth and knowledge of oh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. Because remember, this is what sustains us. It's because of the, 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 the truth and knowledge and wisdom. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, is his treasure. I understood what this meant. Like I said, I had placed a situation over, over in Yahweh's hands, and he took care of the situation. He, he handled the situation in such a way to where, uh, like I said, once they got to, to the point where it seems obvious that they weren't going to give him my ID, Yahweh went into work. He went into action. He wasn't going to let them just take advantage of me because I'm low vision blind and just take my house and then they turn around and sell it for forty dollars or $50,000 and get them some monies in their pockets and plus some brave monies in their pockets and then what, have me a, a blind, a homeless, a bum. No. So, your, so Almighty Father, your Howard, he just burned the, the house up. So that way, they can't get nothing. I can move on forward now with my life. And they still didn't do nothing more but rack up a, a bill for, for the uh, city of Detroit. Because now it's going to cost seven to $10,000 for whomever want to get that property. And, you know, they got to put at least forty to $50,000 into it to, to, to rehab it. Right, I'll show you some more pictures. You see how bad it is. You know, it's it's done. Okay, verse six. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Okay, I'm being saved out of all my troubles, and Yahweh, and and I told Yahweh, I said, if if they even if they would have took me to court to try to take the house, and if a judge would have told me that they to, to, to just sign it over to them and walk away, I told the Lord, I was going to just burn it down. That's what I told him. Then I said, Lord, that's what I was going to do. And so, so, <laughs> so, so what Yahweh did, Yahweh did it, and he did it in such a way to where they can't say I did it because I didn't. I lost everything. I had to escape out the fire. My neighbors had to help me. They had to come rescue me. With a ladder. You see? And so I didn't do it. So, and the land bank can't blame me. They can't say, uh, uh, he burned our house down. On, he burned the house down on purpose. No, I didn't. I didn't burn it down. You how about Shim Yahusha? Using the sun, using the solar panels, you know, overcharge that, overcharge the lithium battery in that older model of solar fire generator. And that thing blew up and started spitting fire. And it was spitting the sparks and fires. It wasn't no regular just fire. It was spitting sparks and fires. And caught everything around it on fire. You know. So. So. It turned into be a show enough situation. And uh, so. So now. It's all about uh, what it is. What it is. I'm dealing, in, dealing with it from a, this point. I'm moving forward. You know, I like to buy him another house. Yeah. Not because I think that America is going to go on forever and I'm trying to establish myself so well in this uh, white man's kingdom. No, it's because I've been waiting so long. I ain't waiting over 40 years to be a homeowner. Okay. And I'm in my retirement. And I don't receive enough money from SSI to pay rent anywhere. So it's all about me. Yeah. Having and owning my own house. That's one of the reasons why I bought a property in the first place. Because I, I cannot afford to pay rent nowhere else. And if I could pay some rent somewhere, it would have to be low income. Okay? So that way I'd still be able to save us some money to buy another house. Okay? <laughs> you know, because that thought is still in my mind. I like being a homeowner. I like having my own front yard, my own backyard, my own driveway. You know what I'm saying? Being the one that that had to say so and what work I want to do around about my my home, I like that. Okay, 
And so, and I like the way it feels being a homeowner. You care more about your community when you're a homeowner. When you're a renter, you don't give shit. Period. That's all that is to that. That's all that is to that. Okay. So verse 10, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger because they're not experienced. Okay. They're not experienced. But they that seek the Lord, we we got this truth and knowledge, shall not want, okay, any good thing. Because the Lord should make sure that we shall have good things, goodly things. Okay. We should have goodly things. And that's just simply the way it is. That's just simply the way it is. Okay. In verse 11, come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord, which is, okay, which is that knowledge that we need. Okay. That's that knowledge that we need. Let's go over. Let's take this over to, um, let's take this over to. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I, no, I, I didn't say uh, forty verse eight, but let's see what it says though. Anyway, you see what it, what does it say? I did a trip, man. See verse verse eight. I say, the grass withereth, the flowers fadeth, but the word of our God, our Elahiah, shall stand forever. And this is also true. <laughs> you see, I wasn't trying to get on that, but got on it and and, 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 and got some word for the day. Huh? Okay. Oh, let's see. I said 48. Now, how come it won't jump on the 48? Now, see, I'm going to Uh-uh. See, I'm going to have to type it in. How come it's, it's where I got to type it in? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Uh... Let's see. Whoops. Just gonna type it in then. Yep. Forty eight. Okay, we'll just go with that. See what we get. See, man. I don't understand it. How come it it, it, it it would just refuse to get uh and it still went who we let's try one more game. Let's see. Let's try it again. Isaiah chapter. So lucky, everyone. Here we go. 48. There we go. King James Version. Okay, you know, we, we like to start off by reading one and two first. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 48, start off verse one. Hear ye this, O house of Jacob, talking about the nation of Israel, which are called by the name of Israel, that'd be us, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah. Okay, that's our tribe. Which and Judah being the the a lion tribe, the spokesperson tribe, okay, and for the nation of Israel, which 
swore by the name of the Lord and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth, nor in righteousness. Okay. That, that, that's where things here went. They said, it went that way for a four time. Verse two, for they call themselves of the holy city and stay themselves upon the God of Israel. The Lord of hosts is his name. Okay. Talking about Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rakakodash. Let's, let's get verse 10 right quick. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. And I'm in my affliction right now. Low vision blindness. I'm going through all that I'm, I'm going through. Okay, low vision blind. And still standing strong a whole lot better than, a, than young men that got eyes, that, that can see. I'm standing stronger, stronger than them. And I'm low vision blind. And I'm an old, older guy. Okay. Young men are so jealous. They're so jealous of not just only just me, but all us old dudes. Because we don't live our lives and we still taking care of business to this very day. Showing these young males how it's done. How to be a man. These young males just don't want to learn. They just don't want to learn. Verse 11. For mine own sake, even for mine own sake, will I do it. For how shall my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory unto another. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And so Yahweh is going to make sure that he, t he does everything that he has to do in order to bring us on over to uh, uh, to a straight path of righteousness and stand on it and keeping it. That's why John chapter 17, verse 9, Yahweh Shai said he prayed for them. Who's that them? Us. Us hope for the elect. He prayed for us, okay? We are thine, and thine are, 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 are mine, and all mine are thine that thine has given me, okay? And Yahweh, we are thine, okay? We belong to Yahweh, okay? And Yahweh has given us to Yahweh Shai. Because we glorify Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai glorify who? Yahweh. That's how that's done. That's how that's done. Verse, uh, verse 11. For mine own sake, even for, hold on, hold on, we read that. Okay, verse 12. Hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel, my called. I am he. I am the first, I also am the last. Talking about Yahweh, about Shem Yahusha. Okay. Talking about them. Talking about the mighty ones. Okay. It is them that call upon us. They, they, they keep us strengthened. Okay. When that time come, all this shall be. Verse 13. Mine hand also hath laid the foundations of the earth. And my right hand, okay, because we are like the hand of who? The hand of Yahweh, okay? Because we go out to do his will, okay? Okay, under the orders of Yahweh Shah, okay? Okay, upon this earth. And my right hand hath, hath spanned the heavens. When I called upon them, they stand up together, Okay? Because Yahweh Hashem Yahusha has that power to bring us together, unite us as one. Okay, as he's awakening the rest of the hopeful elects. Okay, uh, through the, us pushing this truth. Okay, we got to push this truth. Verse 14 All ye assemble yourselves and hear which among them hath declared these things. Okay, the Lord has loved him, he will do his pleasure on Babylon, that's America, and his arm shall be on the Chaldeans, okay? And so these are some of the merchants and all those who've been getting rich off, uh, off our people here in this white man's queen, okay? 
all this is, is coming to a close. It's just straight coming to a close. Okay, let's go to uh, get one more scripture in and we close this out. Okay, Ecclesiasticus. Okay. Okay, then we'll close this out right quick. Okay, we got uh, starting off verse 1. My, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptations. Okay. Prepare thy, to that thy soul for temptations. You know, no one said it's going to be a bed of roses. When you come to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, prepare thyself for temptation. Get thee, get ye ready for the battle. It is the Lord that has girded thee. It is the Lord that has girded thee. Okay. You know, 2nd Esther chapter 10, verse 33. And he said unto me, stand up manfully, and I will advise thee. That's what this is about. No matter what happens to us, we have to understand we're going through the furnace of adversities. We're going through the fire. Okay? We're going through our fire right now, through the fire of the purification now, because the uh, two-thirds, they're going through it later. Except for they're going to get the uh, uh, all-out nuclear fire. They're they going to get all their stuff at the end. Zechariah uh, 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 chapter 13, verse 8. Okay? Okay. The uh, two thirds, therefore, the two thirds shall be cut off and die, and the one third shall be brought through the fire, and I shall bring the one third through the fire, and refine them as silver is refined, and try them as gold is tried, and they shall call upon my name, and I shall hear them, and they shall, and I shall say, they are my people, and they shall say, He is our God. How about Shem Yahshab, by Shem Kapodash? We're going to end it off right there. Okay, and uh, thank you all ever so much for uh, for watching the video. If you receive spiritual, some spiritual edification, uh, press your like button and uh, press your, your subscribe button so you can uh, keep getting more at spiritual edifications and notifications of the spiritual edification of the, 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 of the uh, uh, video that I put out there. Okay, and so we thank you ever so much for uh, tuning in. We'd like to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shem, by Hashem Rakakwadash, and uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Okay. Shalom unto the hopeful elects.